Start by whipping up your double cream until it reaches soft peaks. If you're doing this in a mixer, make sure you watch it as you don't want to over whip it and it will happen really fast, don't take your eye off it. Set your whipped cream to one side. Now onto the custody element, get a pan of water to a gentle simmer. While that's happening, we need three egg yolks and one egg yolk in a bowl. To that, we're gonna add caster sugar, and then we're gonna whisk until that's combined. And I'll leave all the measurements and ingredients in the description box as always, so be sure to check that out. Once that's all combined, pop the bowl over your pan of simmering water. And notice how the water is only about an inch deep. You don't want it coming anywhere near your bowl and potentially scrambling your eggs. Just continue to whisk for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes does sound like forever, but trust me, stick with it. The results will be well worth it. When you're done, you should end up with something that's thick and creamy. If it coats the back of your spoon like this, you're good to go. If not, stick it back on the stove with the simmering water until you're there. Next, you want to strain the custard just in case any of the egg did scramble. We want it smooth and creamy. Add some vanilla. I'm using paste because I want to see those seeds and because it just tastes amazing. And now you just want to fold in the whipped cream from earlier along with your custard until it's all incorporated and do that in about two to three batches until it's all mixed in. Pop that into a loaf tin that's lined with cling film. Make sure you have lots of overhang with the cling film because you're going to need to cover the entire semifredo. Smooth it out, cover with cling film, pop it into the freezer overnight. It's now the following day and we're making a start on our honeycomb topping. All you need is caster sugar and a few tablespoons of golden syrup. You want to get that onto a low heat, give it a quick initial stir just to mix the sugar with the golden syrup. But after that, no more stirring, just swivel the pan around to get rid of any lumps of sugar. Once the sugar's all dissolved, turn the heat up to medium and let the caramel bubble up until you get a nice amber colour. And then you want to quickly dump in your baking soda, stir that through, work it in really well, the mixture should foam up and look bubbly like this. Transfer the honeycomb into a tin that's lined with baking paper and the baking paper I've just greased with veg oil You can also grease it with butter and that's just going to stop the honeycomb from sticking once it sets up Now all you need to do is let that set at room temperature for about two to two and a half hours We're also making a strawberry sauce to cover our semifredo So dumping some strawberries into a blender along with some sugar Blitz into a puree Pour that strawberry goodness into a pan and then bring to a gentle simmer. Add a slurry made with corn flour and this will thicken our strawberry sauce. Let that bubble up for two minutes. It should be nice and thick like this. Transfer to a bowl and then let that cool for a few minutes. Back to our honeycomb which should now be set. All you want to do is break this into smallish chunks. Okay, it's time to put our semifredo together. Grab yourself a nice plate and the semifredo out of the freezer. Use the cling film to lift it out of the tin. Turn it out onto your plate and unravel that creamy goodness. Smother over lots of that strawberry sauce. Don't be shy. You want some of it to go down the sides. And now just top it with lots of fresh strawberries. Finish off with honeycomb pieces. And there we have it guys, my show-stopping vanilla semifredo with strawberry sauce and honeycomb shards. Delish. And of course I was going to give this a try for you guys. I cut myself a nice thick slice. Look how creamy that is. The vanilla seeds are poking through. Gorgeous. This is by far the best way to make ice cream at home. You're guaranteed perfect results and a creamy, soft serve-like mouthfeel. The honeycomb is giving it a sweet crunch and the texture's just popping in my mouth. Gorgeous. And obviously, strawberries and creamy desserts always pair well. It's a lovely combination and we know it well. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. This is such a simple dessert to make with very few ingredients, so I really do hope you'll give this a try. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.